Hello, I'm Anna Turns, Senior Environment Editor at The Conversation. And today in our Quick Climate Dictionary, we're talking about carbon footprints. A carbon footprint is the total amount of greenhouse gases emitted by something. That might be a person's lifestyle, a product supply chain, an organisation, an activity. Everything from a banana to a ship has a carbon footprint that represents the environmental impact it has. Carbon dioxide is the most common greenhouse gas, but other gases such as methane and nitrous oxide also contribute substantially to climate change. And so carbon footprints usually now incorporate those too. For simplicity, these are added together and expressed as the carbon dioxide equivalent, sometimes called CO2e. According to the Worldwide Fund for Nature's online calculator, my personal carbon footprint is about 7.7 tonnes a year. The UK average is 8.8 and the global average is 6.3 tonnes. That footprint can be reduced by buying more stuff secondhand, lowering the thermostat, composting more food waste, or by switching to a bank that doesn't invest in fossil fuels. Measuring your carbon footprint is an important first step, forgive the pun, to improve your carbon literacy and environmental awareness. Knowing that baseline is crucial. Only then can progress really be quantified as time goes on. But the problem is, carbon footprints can be measured in lots of different ways and to varying degrees. Professor Mike Berners-Lee, an expert in carbon footprinting at Lancaster University, is author of How Bad Are Bananas? In his influential book, he states that most carbon footprint calculations are more like toe prints because they don't give the full picture. And as Marcel McManus, a professor of energy and environmental engineering at the University of Bath, argues, the popularity of this term is all down to fossil fuel companies actively promoting it in the first place. She explains that the idea of measuring personal carbon footprints, in other words, calculating the emissions we're responsible for as individuals, was originally promoted by oil giant BP to shift the burden of action and blame from fossil fuel companies to consumers. So the onus is on us. But even if we all reduce our personal carbon footprints, that might never be enough. In a world where just 100 companies are responsible for 71% of global emissions, she says, we need a total overhaul of the carbon intensive systems around us instead. So ultimately, we drastically need systemic change.